Hi there. This is Nothing But Nails. And I'm coming to you with a different video today because I really need you guys' help. I need to understand some things that I'm kind of not understanding. And as you can see, my question is about nail drills because I'm um, uh, in the process of ordering different nail drills to um, see which ones work best. But, okay, the thing that I want to know is this nail drill here, and I'm going to try to back it up so you can see the nail drill. I got this e nail drill on eBay. This nail drill was $55, and it is 30,000 RPMs. Okay. The question that I want, because I was looking at some videos, and I'm going to leave the links for them up in the description box. I was watching some videos about nail drills. And I know personally that, well, I don't know it personally, but I know that Koopa is a reputable company. But what really got my attention was um, a lady made a comment on one of my videos, um, the one about uh, how I remove my polish. And she made a comment about how my drill that I had was stopping while I was removing the acrylic from my nails. And so um, she left a comment and she said that any drill that's less than 25,000 RPMs is going to stop like that. And so she was telling me about the Koopa Mani Pro. And like I said, I know that Koopa is a reputable company. I, have, I do not have any of their nail drills. I have ordered other stuff from Koopa. My, I want to know is that I was looking at the video about the Koopa drills. And I was looking at the UP200. And it said that that drill goes up to 20,000 RPMs. So my thing is, what um, I really need to know from you guys is, this drill is 30,000 RPMs, and I paid $55 from, for it from eBay. And a Koopa drill that is 20,000 RPMs, okay, help me to understand, I, I just want to understand this. I want to know, um, are there different levels of like 20,000 RPMs? For in, for example, is a Koopa drill that's 20 up goes up to 20,000 RPMs going to be a better drill than this one that's 30,000 RPMs? And I got it on eBay. That's what I need to know. Are there different levels of like, for instance, if I was to purchase a medical drill and I'll leave these links and the video links and all this I'll leave the video links like I said up in the description box so you can see which drills I'm talking about I was looking at a medical video and they said their drills are like 30,000 RPMs so I what I'm asking I guess is that are there different levels of 30,000 RPMs is a medical what makes a medical 30,000 RPM better than this no, one. I I'm just want to know. I'm not asking to be funny or anything, but I just need to know the difference. And I understand that medical and Koopa and some of the other ones are far more expensive, but what is it? The motor in them that is a better motor or a stronger motor at 30,000 um, RPMs. So some, I just need you guys to help me to understand this now the reason why i have this one over here is because this is a rechargeable drill um i did a video on both of these and you know you see the piece hand piece i mean the um piece that you can attach strap you know attach it to your side but the problem that i had um this drill the hand piece broke on it and the handpiece was exactly like this one. The only difference was that it was from here on down was black. And it was exactly like this one. But it the locking mechanism 
didn't work. I tried to undo it and redo it and it just fell apart. Well, anyway, I have another hand piece that's on here now. Okay, now this nail, this drill here goes up to 20,000 RPMs. And I'm going to tell you what I have a problem with, with this one. Is that whenever I turn it on, which is like I, it's rechargeable. Let me take this out so you can see. Whenever I turn it on, I need to get it. Okay, where I can see you in the video. Okay. Now, it'll work. But I have to kind of turn it up with this hand piece. It works really well with this hand piece. But I have to turn it up really all, almost all the way up in order for it to really work well. And then when I do that, the hand piece down here, this part of the hand piece gets hot. Because you know there is a motor inside the hand piece also. But it gets... It get, not really hot, but it gets it really gets heated, and then sometimes it'll get so heated it'll just stop. It'll just stop, and so um, I understand that. And I've heard not only the lady that made the comment on my video, and I'm not saying anything bad about. It, I appreciate her telling me that because that was information that I really didn't know before she said something about it, and so if. A drill has to be at least 25,000 RPMs or higher. What is the difference? Like I said, this one is 30,000 RPMs. And to me, I mean, it works really well. Um, let me turn it on. I got it hooked to the foot pedal. And you see where I have the speed at. Let me see if I can get it right here. You see where my speed is. I'm going to turn it all the way kind of down. Now that's on low, as you can see. And it goes up, and it works really well. So I, that's why I want to know, um, wh what is the difference between this 30,000 RPM drill and one that I would prop kind of maybe if I would purchase a medical drill and which those are like 300 and up to three three to four hundred dollars and also the Cooper drills are um, and um, I'll leave some links to some videos so you guys can just kind of click on there and see what I'm talking about because now I was also watching a video from Young Nails and uh, he was doing a video and I'll leave that link too and I mean, his drill, he had it on like on really low and it was just like removing that um, product. It was removing the acrylic, like taking butter, you know, just like it was just nothing on a low speed. So I just need to know what is the difference. I would appreciate it if you guys would do video responses. I mean, if you can't, I'm okay with that. If you leave a written response it may be kind of lengthy so that's why i'm asking you you guys if you leave a video response just all you have to do below um, is um, in the comments is just say watch my video and now if you're going to do a new video then i'll know how to find it but if you're going to say watch a video and it's an older video that you may have already done then i need you to leave me a link for that video but if you're going to do a new video, which I really, really, really wish you guys would, I mean, as much as you can, because I really want to understand what the difference is. Because like I said, I'm in the process of going, you know, getting drills. And I was thinking about ordering um, another drill. It's a little bit more expensive. It's like a hundred and something dollars that I can afford right now. But then I said, you know, and it's 35,000 RPMs. So please help me to know what the difference is. Like I said, what I'm asking is, this is a 30,000 RPM drill. What is the difference in this 30,000 RPMs and a more expensive drill's 30,000 RPMs? Or like a Koopa drill, what makes the difference? You know, because I've, I always check the RPMs now since the lady 
made the comment and I really hope that she's still um I hope she's still online because I'm going to leave her a, a link on her channel to this video so she can respond to me hopefully she will because what she said she said she had the Cooper Manny Pro and um I know that's a $99 drill and she said she only has to turn it up a, a you know just a little bit just in order for it to work so um I need you guys help and if you I mean if you want to show me your drills in your videos show what drills you have because I mean I really I would really like to know you know what to do um I would really appreciate you guys help I love you guys you always give me you know constructive help and criticism I really appreciate it and I would love it like I said if you guys would just do a video response to this um, if you can and show what drill you use uh, if you can tell me where you got it from and like I say I'd appreciate it if you do new videos I mean you don't have to you know do much in it just respond to this video if you can respond in the comments below do so but I would love for you guys you know if you haven't done a video on your drill in a while do me a video and tell me about your drill, what RPMs you have, how it works. If you can, show me a demonstration of it, removing acrylic. Um, you can go back and watch my other video. It, I think it's called um, How I Remove My Polish and something like that. But anyway, help me out, guys, because I really want to understand this. Um, I'm not able to purchase a, a $400 drill right now. But I do want to know what the difference is in it because I was watching, I said I was watching the, um, a, uh, Koopa video from the Koopa Incorporation and they were doing it about the UP 200 and I really love that drill. But if it goes up to 20,000 RPMs, what's going to keep it from stalling if a drill has to be over 25,000 RPMs? So help me out guys, please. As much as you can, as many of you as can. Um, if you know someone else, give um, link this video on them, and maybe they can respond to it. I want as many responses as I can get. If you, like I said, if you can leave a comment, please do so. If not, please, guys, do me a video response if you can. I promise you, I will watch your video. If it's going to be a brand new video, just put in the um, comments say watch my video. But if it's going to be an older video that you've already done or something, then you're going to have to leave me a link for it when you leave your comment. All right, guys. Help me out. Thank you. Bye-bye.